question. Yeah. Um, can you speak more about what you were speaking earlier of processing things that come up? Yeah. Um, I find that you, you speak to witness things and I yeah. find at first I was misunderstanding these teachings like a while back and just going into dissociation where you're not really alive, no? And yeah. now I don't think it's about that. I feel like you need to feel it. And is that what you mean when you say you let it come up? But yes. How can, for me, it's all about like how to find that sweet spot where we're not dissociated, we're witnessing, but at the same time fully feeling things. Like, how? If you stay in the now and then let the memory come and along with the memory, all the energy, all the emotions that <coughs> belong to it, and then you just look what is happening to your body. Not try to sort of uh, brush it away again in the subconscious. Observing doesn't mean to repress it again. That you just let it happen, but at the same time you watch <laughs> what it is doing. How your body is reacting, what happens in your legs, what happens in your belly, <laughs> what happens in the whole body, energetically. And then you are alive, you are living it. It's not that you are obscuring the thing, but at the same time you are not getting sucked into it again. And then, uh, like the old piled up energy that is there and still nagging from the subconscious and creating problems has a chance to like evaporate. I find when, when that happens and it's released, then this same sense of naturalness comes, which is the same what that can come through self-inquiry or it's yes. also said when you have a regulated nervous system, it's all different pathways to the same, right? Yes. Sure, right. Mm. And it it may also happen, what I said before, that you are busy with something like this and then suddenly it goes and you feel ah, at ease, relieved. But maybe there is still more of it there and it comes back another time. And maybe it comes back just out of habit and you see it and you drop it and it, if you can drop it, fine. But if it's coming back and nagging, then you accept, all right, I'm doing the same thing again. Mm -hmm. So let it come back again. And then you may have the temptation, if it's <coughs> connected with strong memories, emotions attached to the memories that you get lost in the past, mm -hmm. when you become aware that I'm just dreaming away there in the past, bring your attention back to the now and feel what it is doing now, how it is affecting your experience now. And start on the easiest level. See what it is doing to this thing. <laughs> See what it is doing to your body. And then learn to relax. Relax your legs. <laughs> relax your feet. <laughs> the whole body starts to relax. And if you physically relax, you start to energetically relax. If you physically and energetically relax, you start to emotionally relax, and that stuff loses its power. Do you think that this in itself can be a path to liberation? Right, but you don't have to sit there and dig in the dirt and uh, where, where, where can I find some more thing to... <laughs> it's a jungle. <laughs> and if you go like this, there's no end to it. Mm. No, be here, be now, be at peace. And then that which needs to be looked at comes all by itself. <laughs> you don't have to go and look for it. So don't make it in that way in a path that you're always looking, where is there some more, more dirt that I can somehow get out. Because you don't have to go in every damn little thing that has ever happened. There are whole fields that are connected together. And then uh, there may come something very strongly and you deal with it, it goes and maybe a whole field disappears yes. and you don't have to go after every time that mm -hmm. detail that has happened in similar situations. Mm -hmm. 
There you can uh, again totally get hooked on that level. Be here, be now, be at peace, be at ease, be natural. And then deal with whatever comes and disturbs that. 